Since signing on as GM in late November, Brian Burke has been diligent in the application of his plan to create a new future for the ever-growing hockey club. On March 31st, Burke signed Christian Hansen, a forward from Notre Dame, and three days later signed another highly regarded college free agent in Tyler Bozak from the University of Denver. We've got to try and add to our reserve list. You know, this adds to our depth. This is no different than, in my opinion, than landing a high draft pick, only a guy that's older and closer to being ready to play. Yeah, I think I think one of the biggest differences is the speed. Like even just the morning in pregame skate, you could really tell, you know, how much faster the guys are and you know how they really make their plays. You know, just in the pregame skate this morning, every single pass was tape to tape and that's something that you really don't see in college hockey. Hansen to the line and in with Blake who takes the pass and now tries to drive the net he does Hansen scores the product of the fighting Irish of Notre Dame as his first NHL goal I could care less where players come from. You know, we, we intend to build this team with junior players, college players, European players. If they start playing hockey on Mars, we'll draft players from Mars. So uh, I could give a rat's ass where a player comes from, as long as he can play here. There's a lot of good college players out there, and I was lucky enough last year to have the chance to play against Christian, who is an unbelievable player. So, you know, it's really nice to come to a team where there are a few college guys and you can talk about your schools and the old times you had. But, yeah, there's there's lots of good players in college, and uh, Christian is definitely one of those guys. Is there a similar quality that might pertain to both of these guys that stands out to you right now? From our view, yes, character. We're trying to identify character people, people that will help us turn this thing around and be part of the future of the Leafs and uh I think he got a good look at Tyler today. He's got a little pizzazz. He's got a little jump to him and a little personality to him, which I enjoyed. The Toronto Maple Leafs were out of the playoffs for the fourth straight year. While expectations from the media were low from day one, the players, coaching staff, and Brian Burke all felt the number one goal was to make the postseason. Well, our goal is to be in the playoffs, and that, that's going to be my goal every year when I stand up here. And That's the first step in the goal. The goal for every team every year at the start of the year is to win the Stanley Cup. And you say that to people, and people look at you like you should be in an institution. But that is our goal. And the first step in that journey is to make the playoffs. To not make the playoffs represents failure in our league. I, I'm not used to it, I don't like it, and I'm sour today. As a player, we, we had the high expectation anyway. So obviously, if the media and uh, around, the, around the ring was, wasn't high expectation, but we had the same expectation as the players. And... Uh, you always want to make the playoffs, and then you can look. Uh, then, you, then you you can look forward afterwards. And we didn't do that, so uh, so we failed this year. And uh, you know, like I said, uh, next year it's uh, even higher expectations, and uh, we have to do. Everybody has to put it in mind over the summer. You never want to be here uh, this early. Um, it's been uh, four years now, and it's not, it's no fun. The city deserves to be in the playoffs, and, and we know that, and we're going to do everything we can to do that. Everyone else met with the media yesterday to talk about their playoff preparation, the 16 teams that are in the playoffs. And when you stand up the day after and meet with the media, it's because your season has been a failure. And uh, I was amazed at the storm it touched off two weeks ago when I came in and, and said, you know, that everyone should view this as a kick right in the groin. And people seem befuddled by that, or they seem to think it was uh, an act. And this is all about making the playoffs, folks. This is there's a real simple yardstick in our business. There's a real simple barometer. Sixteen teams make the playoffs, and that's what we get paid to do. And so on a day when a team is eliminated, that should be a shameful day. That should be a day of infamy. That should be a day where we acknowledge failure. And it should be a day where everyone is pissed off. And that's why I came to the rink and it was just like, Hey, the leaves are turning or something. It was like a non-event when our team got eliminated, and it set me off, and I'm still sour about it now. So that's people have asked me why I was so worked up that day. I was worked up that day because you should be worked up that day when your team doesn't make the playoffs. As the season came to a close and everyone headed off for the summer, there were still a lot of positive things to take from the 2008-2009 season. A team in transition, as the Maple Leafs were often called this year, did just that. They made necessary trades, gave everyone an equal chance, and figured out exactly who they were and what kind of team they wanted to be before going into next season. The season ended with the Maple Leafs in the top ten in goals four, and with many players reaching milestones and career highs, it was a positive season overall, with room for growth next year. You know, I think overall, uh, it's it's been a good year. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, 
we'd you know like to be in the playoffs, but you know uh, it's obviously a good note and uh, to to uh, be ready for next year. And uh, you know we can score goals. We just got to obviously make sure we we play good defensive. The expectations were down this year, and the the management did a good job of of uh, preparing everybody for change. And uh, but next year, you know, there's going to be higher expectations. Obviously, teams a year older. Um, and all the rookies uh, are a year older, so the expectations are going to start creeping up every year again. And, and next year, um, you know, the fans want uh, playoffs for sure. I think the development of the young guns was critical. Uh, the emergence of some of our young players and seeing what you uh, what those guys can be in a year or two, what they could be. Um, I don't think our group quit. I, I think it was noticed with some amusement that they cost us several positions in the draft. That's okay. Um, I think that players have to try to win every night. I've said that to you. It's in our DNA. Hockey players watch the scoreboard and try to win. And that was their job, and they did it.